Namaste, everybody. On behalf of Sai Karuna Mission, Dr. Uday Shah and all our teachers and healers, I welcome you to this US uh, uh, session, uh, the Canadian session. It's morning here and eight o'clock in the evening in India. So good morning, everybody. Good evening, everybody. So as I was saying, I'm going to be sharing my screen as we are going to start bringing our minds into the moment. Uh, Whenever we talk about where we are in the grand scheme of things, you know, we worry about so many small things. We worry about uh, jobs, we worry about health, we worry about people who say things to us. <clears throat> Excuse me, we worry about things that really don't matter to any of us in any big way. But yet, it takes the entire focus and it brings it back to our daily lives. So as people living on the planet, um, there are these big words like stress, anxiety, worry, all of those things, right? So one of the things we were looking at and we've been discussing a lot at Sai Karuna Mission is this idea of drawing energies. So when we draw energies, we draw energies in different ways. We draw it from the people surrounding us. We draw it from the elements. I'm assuming that everybody here has actually had an opportunity to explore your own chakras. Yes. Uh, I don't see anyone on my screen, so I'm hoping that everyone's uh, done that at least once with uh, uh, our healers. One of the biggest things is, have you ever noticed that if you are with a person who is having a really bad day, your mood might have been super uh, excited, your vibration might have been at a level of happiness, but the moment you get surrounded by people who are really not as uh, uh, in tune with that happiness or in tune with that vibration, it brings your vibration down while rise, raising theirs because you're, you're happy, you're supportive, you're kind, so they feel better, but you also absorb that. Now, one of the biggest things that we need to recognize is that uh, the earth has got all these elements, earth, water, fire, we know this, we've got space, we've got air, uh, we've got all of this, but the energies that we actually uh, draw on are those celestial objects that are around the earth. Now, earth is only one of, uh, you know, many trillion planets, uh, many trillion stars, stars that are very young, stars that are very old. So scientifically speaking, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes to talk to you a little bit about what a star is. So uh, when we look at the sun, the sun we know scientifically is a uh, red giant that is burning very well and has been burning for many, many millions of years. Uh, the nine planets, the eight planets plus Pluto are all parts of an old star, a big asteroid that broke apart. And then we've got these little rocks. These rocks support different forms of energy. Uh, on Earth, of course, we have a, a form of energy that you and I recognize as consciousness, right? Now, the unique thing about these stars, whether it is the sun, whether it is another star in our solar system, another star in our galaxy, these are self-illuminating objects, right? They have a certain light in them. So what is this light? This light comes based on different types of gases, different types of energies created due to the mixing of different molecules. Now, if today is the first time you're attending one of my sessions, you'll notice that I speak about the science and then we will start linking it as we do in Sai Karna Mission to the spiritual aspect. So you didn't end up in a science class, you did end up in Sai Karna Mission, which means you're going to get a bit of both and then allow you to choose what works for you and to help your soul, help your own uh, journey on earth uh, evolve. Okay, so we've talked about the sun. Now, just like the sun, if you look up in the sky right now, uh, this is very close to Purnima, we, uh, that is full moon. We've just finished uh, uh, full moon as well. Uh, and we're heading towards uh, Amavas, which is uh, next week. There is also a very special day coming which is uh, Janmashtami, Krishna's birthday, right? Lord Krishna's birthday. So for those of you 
who know Lord Krishna, you know that he is uh, somebody who is absolutely amazing. The em uh, embodiment of everything that we all want of our uh, different uh, senses, uh, you know, beauty, uh, uh, to be clever, intelligence, um, uh, fearless, powerful, all of these things, right? So how did this happen? So here's the thing. As we look at the sun, as we look at the moon, we also look at these stars. These stars have formed over millions and millions of years, and the light is traveling at the speed of light, entering Earth's uh, atmosphere and entering your eye, allowing your brain to become cognizant of what's happening there, right? So these stars, if you look, have a certain pattern. So we call those in English as constellations, right? These constellations have been uh, organized or are organized for whatever reason, by a divine force, by the Big Bang Theory, whatever you want to believe in. Uh, but when we look up uh, Greek astronomers, uh, Indian Vedic philosophers and astronomers all detected that there is a certain pattern of stars, the light of these stars that arrive on Earth. Those light signatures seem to create a certain shape. So I know that when I look up into the northern sky today, I will see the North Star. Along with it, I will see the constellation of Leo, right? When we look at the constella uh, constellation of Leo, there are, that is, Leo is lion. Uh, for lion, you've got a certain set of stars going off in a certain direction, uh, forming the image of a lion. People born under that star. What does that mean? So. Uh, most people in India believe that uh, being born under a particular star uh, determines uh, what kind of a person you are. So I was talking about Krishna because his birthday, Krishna Janmashmi is coming up. Uh, he was born under this particular set of stars called the Rohini. Okay, Rohini Nakshatra or the constellation of Rohini uh, exists in the pattern of Taurus the bull. Okay, so if you notice, I'm converting between uh, the Hindu Vedic astrology and the uh, Greek astrology, which is our zodiac signs. So when we look at that, um, and now take a moment and compare that particular uh, person or that individual or the deity that you know as Krishna, who is the most beautiful, the most kind, the cleverest, the most intelligent, the bravest, he was everything that you would recognize as a perfect person, right? So there's Krishna. He was born under these stars. Why? What is the connection? So one of the things that we need to recognize is each of those stars carries an energy signature. That energy signature seems to manifest itself on earth within the human form as a certain strength as a certain weakness, okay? So the purpose of me talking about Krishna is because we all can resonate towards a deity, we can resonate towards uh, a faith, anything, whether you believe in uh, Krishna, Rama, Jesus, it doesn't matter. Because when you look at all of these divine enlightened souls, one of the things you're going to notice is that there is some sort of a connection. Look up in the sky, look at the people, you will recognize a pattern. So today, uh, one of uh, as I was doing my research, trying to see how I understood this so I could share it with you, I found that uh, when you look at Lord Krishna, the fact that he was born on earth, with a purpose. He was the one of the forms of Vishnu, right? In Hindu mythology, he was one of the eight avatars of uh, Vishnu. So he came here to protect. He came here so that uh, one of the three trinities, so if you are in yoga, you will know that uh, the symbol of Om represents the three trinities, uh, Brahma, Vishnu, and Maheshwar, right? So when we look at this particular Lord Krishna's avatar, um, he has drawn his energies from the Rohini Nakshatra. What is so great about it? 
that particular constellation resonates to the sound of Brahma, who is the creator, right? So when you are here on earth, trying to create a certain type of landforms, they are trying to create a certain type of landscape, right? Those energies are required. So when these type of manifestations were taking place on earth, they still are, these energies from the stars seem to be reflected here. Now, once again, remember, when we talk, we are presenting options for you. We are presenting information. How you take that is up to you. So this is one philosophy. So I went one step further and I looked at uh, Ram, okay, another form of um, uh, uh, Lord Vishnu. And he was born under uh, the, this uh, particular nakshatra or constellation called Punarvasu. Interestingly enough, let's analyze, okay, the human form of Ram on earth. He was a great warrior. He came to earth so that he could fight good versus evil, right? He was also a husband who managed to uh, stay on the righteous path no matter what. And so he did not, uh, you know, you know the story of uh, Sita and Ram and everything. He was also the father of twin flames, which is love and push. At say, and so if you look at this, he was the representation of morality. The stars that were guiding this person's arrival on earth all had the same energy signature, right? So the, the point I'm trying to make is that when we looked at ourselves, and so today's purpose, um, what I wanted to bring to you is for you to recognize that while we say that, you know, our stars are bad or our karmas are bad or whatever it is, we can do a self-study. We can look within ourselves to see what is it that's vibrating in us and how do we raise it to that level? And where do we get that energy? Mother Earth gives us all this energy from uh, her own source. And we always talk about the divine white light. Where is this divine white light coming from? This divine white light is what we are drawing from the stars. We are drawing it from all the stars of the past. Remember that if you are seeing light on earth today, that star existed billions and billions uh, of years ago because that's how long it takes for light to travel. So if it existed billions and billions of years ago, what does that mean? It means that it carries a memory. It means it carries a memory of lifetimes of many different souls, many different energy signatures, because recognizing that we are in this body, uh, this is just a temple, this is just basically uh, for us to have a place where we can uh, allow our souls to grow, meaning that our soul is immortal, right? So we carry these energy signatures. So all that white energy is coming towards you. And if we are able to connect with that, half, two thirds, 95% of everything that we are dealing with on planet Earth, becomes irrelevant, becomes manageable, becomes acceptable, isn't it? What do you think? Any questions? I mean, I'm talking, I gave you some information, but I would love to hear what your thoughts are today. So if you want to type in chat box, you can. If you want to unmute, let me know. I would love to just read a little bit, see what everybody's thinking. Uh, because uh, it's a lot of information and I don't want you to be uh, overwhelmed. Any thoughts? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I just wanted to show you something about our uh, galaxy. I won't take too long because I want to spend more time uh, doing a meditation that will allow you to take this journey. Uh, so this is our galaxy. 
this is an image I found uh, and it talks about star energies. So if you notice that uh, particles are constantly moving, we are constantly looking at this idea of um, you know, uh, space energies and uh, our, we keep feeling this vibration constantly. So the purpose of today's uh, talk is to allow us to connect to this, okay? So without further ado, I think I'm going to begin a meditation uh, and see how everybody would like to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and settle down. Um, since we have no questions at the moment, uh, I want you to start focusing. Uh, each of you will do one thing. Uh, for those of you who know when you were born, Okay, if you know your nakshatra, okay, if you know the stars, if you have done the astrology, anyone here knows that? Does everybody know what we are, uh, this thing? Yes, no, maybe. So if you do recognize when your birthday is, think of that zodiac, think about that month, think about the stones that go with it. If you were, for example, born in August, uh, your favorite crystal or your crystal that works for you would be peridot. The zodiac you're looking at is uh, Leo. Your star system in um, uh, the uh, Vedic uh, astrology would be Dhanishta. It could be any one of these, right? So you could pick any one that you know your parents, grandparents might have told you. Uh, keep that in mind. If you don't have uh, an astrological chart, that's fine. As long as you recognize which month you were born, in, which month you celebrate your birthday. If you start focusing on those, you're going to align yourself with the stars in the sky because we have a memory. Even though you don't remember it, your conscious mind doesn't remember it, we are going to be able to connect with it, okay? So with that, I am going to begin the meditation now. So uh, if anyone wants to take a moment, go ahead. Otherwise, we are just going to settle down. And uh, we're just going to start to breathe. Taking a moment, I want you all to start thinking about your birth dates, your favorite stars. If you've seen a North Star, the planet uh, Jupiter has been out in the North sky. We've been seeing the harvest moon. In North America here right now, we've been seeing this huge uh, pink moon right now. So it's extremely bright. The interesting thing is the moon doesn't have its own source of light. It's reflecting that beautiful star that we call our sun. So let's begin with our eyes closed. We are going to start to focus. We're going to begin to look within ourselves and as we do that ground your feet to the ground if you're sitting on a chair for those of you who are lying down allow your body to become extremely loose allow it to just float allow yourself to merge with the universe Allow your body to become one. Make sure that your thoughts as they come, flow in and out like a beautiful wave. I want you to see just yourself. Observe your body. We're going to take a moment to remember all our divine masters, gurus, healers, bring everybody into this moment. You may feel energies around you in your room. Allow them to come. Imagine that you are starting to move and take a journey towards the very tip of your head, 
and above your head, there is a space called your soul chakra. So today we are going to begin to connect with the soul chakra and move towards the stars, the very stars that allowed the great divine enlightened souls on our planet to connect with their higher self. We each have this in our auric space. So I want you to visualize that your entire body has gone inside a beautiful white quartz pyramid. The very pyramid that we see like the peak of a mountain, it's extremely clear. The base of your feet, your tailbone, form the bottom of the pyramid, the top of your head, your crown chakra, the tip of it, and above it is a very, very minuscule point. That is where your soul chakra is. Visualize this beautiful white pyramid that you've become. And now we are going to start to move our consciousness from the ba base of the tailbone, the home of the root chakra, all the way to the crown. And then we're going to move into the soul chakra space so that we can take our journey to the stars. Breathe. The power of visualization helps for manifestation. Take a moment, you are this beautiful pyramid. You're within this pyramid, so safe. You can see the light energies all around you. Observe as Mother Earth gives you all her support, sending this beautiful energy to the base of your pyramid, healing every part of the human body. As a soul, you recognize memories you've had. As a soul, you recognize the bodily ailments of the space that is towards the lower part of your body, your legs, your tailbone, all the joints, as this energy starts to flow upwards, we're starting to draw on the energies of Mother Earth, healing this body, moving the energy through this beautiful pyramid that you've become. Imagine the base of the pyramid, it's very large. There's a lot of space. It aligns with the fact that we have our root chakra here, the home of all our blockages, our karmic blockages, ancestral connections. Let's heal. For those of you who know your healing modalities, I want you to begin to put your symbols here. If you do not know this, Repeat the four phrases, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I thank you, I love you. This is a way that your soul is taking responsibility for memories of the past, may it be of this life or previous lives. Just like those stars that are sending you energies, we are erasing what doesn't serve us here, allowing us to move through our body, through the base of this beautiful pyramid, balancing the root chakra, clearing all blockages. As we move further to the next part of this pyramid, bring your awareness to the Swadishtan chakra, 
This is your sacral chakra, the space that's below your navel center. So you've gone slightly up above on the pyramid, a few more levels up. Remember, it's a giant pyramid. The reason it's a giant pyramid is because you've lived so many lives. You have so many memories. There's a beautiful orange energy. Mother Earth is saying, take this energy, clear all blockages. So in this world, you may have issues with creativity, career, wealth, abundance. All those are being cleared today. Allow this beautiful orange energy to flow like a river, balancing the water element. We've balanced the earth element. We are now balancing the water. This orange energy is flowing, washing away everything that is in your way. Go ahead and put your symbols in. You can chant any mantra. You can think of any divine source. Whatever comes to mind, accept it. Manifest your abundance. I am fit, fine, and healthy. I live in abundance. Money flows through me easily. Anything I need, I can get. Heal all the organs in this space. As you look around, that quartz crystal pyramid is starting to become a little more clear, allowing for light to come through. As your chakras start to balance, there's a clarity coming. We have to allow this energy to flow. Allow it to flow. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. The soul is taking responsibility for all memories of the past. Remember, the soul doesn't forget. We in this conscious world do because it then manifests as disease. So we're healing all of these, balancing the water elements. Observe as even the joints that need water, the blood that causes high blood pressure when the viscosity changes. All of that is flowing at its optimal level in your sacral space as the chakra takes what it needs from Mother Earth. Your beautiful pyramid that you are is starting to become clear for the base two chakras. Keep moving further up above the navel center. Allow the energy to shift. Mother Earth is sending a yellow energy. This beautiful yellow energy is for your Manipura chakra, your solar plexus. This is an amazing space to receive this energy of the star, the sun. Visualize the sun in any which way you want. It's a beautiful rising sun. There is so much heat. The surface of the sun has a temperature of over 4,000 degrees centigrade. Feel the heat. Allow this energy, this yellow energy, to start to burn away everything that is in your mind. All the aches, the pains, the ancestral connections, the past connection. People say things to you, they hurt your feelings. You have people in your life who have been hurt by other people, you know about it. Recognize that every word you hear is a memory. Krishna has said in the Gita that everything is a maya. This is the power he received due to the Rohini nakshatra, the no Rohini constellation, the constellation of Taurus. The sun is here right now to help you burn away all those memories and come into complete acceptance. Welcome here to complete acceptance. As we start to polish and clear this beautiful pyramid with that you are, observe as all the organs are starting to get healed. 
heal the pancreas, the liver, the stomach, the intestine. All issues within here are starting to heal. Keep going. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I thank you. I love you. Allow this energy to keep flowing through you. The crystal, as you look at it, is becoming more and more shiny and clear. A lot of energies are flowing through you. Your earth, your water, fire elements are all balanced. Pushing forward, Mother Earth says, now it's time for us to arrive towards the air element. Your heart chakra is beating and vibrating. There's a lot of imbalance due to emotions. This part of your pyramid is still not clear. Go ahead and feel every emotion. For those who know the Gita, Krishna says, allow energies, allow experiences to flow with complete acceptance. Use this body in terms of devotion. Do only good. Don't worry about anything. Don't stress because everything is exactly how it should be. We've invoked the energies of this amazing constellation manifested in the form of this great divine soul. Give your emotions, give your happiness, your sadness, your worries, your stresses, your aches, your pains into the universe. Let it flow like the breath in and out of your body, having no impact, letting you be in complete acceptance. Allow this green energy from Mother Earth to spread through your heart, through your lungs, through your red rib cages. Allow it to go. If you meet a little child, this is you, your inner child. Talk to this inner child and put the idea, put the intention, manifest. Everything is fine. Everything is exactly how it should be. I am fit, fine and healthy. I am in abundance. I am wealth. I am happiness. I am health. I am always supported by the divine energies. All divine thoughts. Anuman, Sai, Jesus, whoever you can manifest, allow those energies to flow through your heart. Look at yourself, that beautiful crystal pyramid is now shining as the lower chakras are completely balanced, allowing for the movement of light. We are becoming a beautiful prism. The rainbow of light is starting to flow. Let's keep going. Bring your awareness to your throat. You may feel emotions rising into your Vishuddhi chakra, your throat chakra. Let it come. Mother Earth is sending her indigo light. Use this light to clear all blockages in the throat. What does that mean? Your thoughts, your feelings, your words have to align. May this alignment take place. Allow your soul to clear all memories. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. Allow the energy to continue to flow. You are starting to come to the tip of the pyramid. Let it come towards your forehead. Keep clearing this, releasing all memories. Put your intention, I am fit, fine and healthy. I am here in complete acceptance to absorb the energies of the stars to vibrate at the same frequency as the sound of OM. Bring your awareness to the space between your eyebrows. 
Any thoughts that come here, accept them. We've entered the ether elements as we move through the Vishuddhi Chakra into the Agya Chakra. The space here, if you've noticed in your pyramid has become smaller because we've cleared all of those. We've cleared and balanced all the chakras. The crystal that we are is starting to resonate light. Bring your awareness to the top of your crown, to the top of your head. This is the point. Let's start to connect to the divine energy. For those of you who know from school, a prism allows white light to come in and disperse it into the colors of the rainbow. So we've done the opposite. We've given the colors of the rainbow. We've reached the tip of the pyramid. There's a white energy. So now focus as we bring our awareness to six inches above this space into your auric field. That is your soul chakra. Bring your awareness to this little space. Visualize. If you need, imagine a ruler on the top of your head. Six inches above, there's a spherical space. It's a beautiful violet, receiving all the energies. Allow the energies from Mother Earth to flow directly, spiraling in one direction, upwards towards your soul chakra. The only way to balance this is to balance all the other chakras. <clears throat> Your left and your right hand, <clears throat> as you can see, are completely balanced. Rahu and Ketu are balanced. You are now the pyramid, shining brightly, ready to receive the energies from the constellations. Visualize your favorite constellation, your month of birth, the time of birth, if you know it, if not, pick the North Star, pick the sun. Visualize these beautiful stars, you're floating within them. You're free. Draw on the energy of whatever you want. Do you need strength? Pull the energy of the strength into you. This is the galaxy, this is the Brahman, this is the universe. You are one with the universe. Go ahead and start to float. You're so free. The crystal layer is there. Your pyramid is there. It's drawing all the energies from the stars, giving you strength, giving you happiness, abundance. Visualize rays of light hitting this pyramid as it absorbs every intention that you have. I am held, draw on that energy from the stars. I am abundance, draw that energy from this beautiful star, millions and millions of years, light years away. I am balance. Draw it from the sun. Om Suryaya Namaha. Draw the energies that you need. Surround your pyramid with different rays of light as you float through the galaxy. We are now leaving the Milky Way. We are away from our solar system. We are outside our galaxy. There is space all around you, surrounded by beautiful white spots of light. Stay with yourself here. Observe complete healing, balancing of every energy molecule, every energy signature. Photons and photons of light are hitting you, the pyramid. You're feeling energized every step of the way. There's a grand pyramid that's being formed. 
so clear. Quartz crystal opens up. Your soul chakra is vibrating. Allow it to take all the energies from the stars. Stars of many, many, many lifetimes ago. They all have what you need. Balancing your body, balancing the DNA, balancing down to every atom, recognizing that every vibrational pattern is the same as that of this immense universe. Observe everything around you. You are in complete control. Everything you want is being manifested. Everything you need is already with you. Your divine energy, your divine soul, star energies are flowing through you from your own birth star to stars from many lifetimes ago. We are completely in one vibrational pattern. Stay here for as long as you want, formless, shapeless. Your perfection, you are perfection. There is a divine knowledge, a divine message that is coming through right now. It says that the answers are within you. The path of clarity is within you. Take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to visualize yourself as this pyramid. Anytime you feel overwhelmed on this planet school, Sit and visualize yourself as this crystal. This beautiful quartz pyramid is yours. Allow the energies to flow. Smile at these beautiful stars as you take your journey. The planets are making way for you to travel to distant stars. This distant memories, distant lifetimes. You may see yourself in different forms. You may see yourself in, with different souls. Nothing to be afraid of. This beam of light that's coming is now reaching your soul chakra. That is your optimal vibration accepted. Go ahead and put your intention. I am, I am, I am. So hum, so hum, so hum. Aham, Brahmasi. Aham Brahmasi. Aham Brahmasi. Any thoughts that come to you, allow them to come. This is your divine messages. This is your intuition. Today we've activated the intuition. The logical brain has now taken a step back, allowing for the divine. <clears throat> Go ahead. We're beginning the return journey. We are re entering the Milky Way. Start to recognize familiar patterns. Earth is in the vicinity, past Jupiter, the rings of Saturn. Meteors, asteroids, these are not stars, they are the planets. 
Look around you as the stars become clear. They are following you like your angels, archangels, guardians, the Ashwin twins. Allow them to come. There is the beautiful sun. Feel the energy of the sun, the light, the white light that comes through you. Return towards earth. As we come into the earth's atmosphere, you're re-entering your pyramid. Come inside your pyramid. You are now completely balanced. The white energy that you are has entered this beautiful crystal. The entire crystal pyramid that you are is shining, transmitting rays of light. Let's begin to expand the aura. Go ahead and expand into your aura. This positive energy of health abundance, love, compassion, healing. Your entire body is now vibrating at the same frequency as the divine white energies received from the stars. Mother Earth continues to hold you. You're fully grounded. Gently begin to observe as the crystal that you are starts to shrink and goes within you. Allow the energies to surround you. Put your intention, I am in complete acceptance. I am abundant. I'm fit, fine, and healthy. I welcome every day with the same enthusiasm of a newborn child starting a great adventure. The path of my soul is very clear. My intuition is working at the best possible frequency. I am filled with strength. I am filled with confidence. I am never alone. The divine energy is within me. Slowly come back to your breath. Observe the rise and the fall of your stomach as you inhale and exhale. Feel Mother Earth releasing you from her strength. She is full of love, giving you a hug, saying that now you are ready, my child. Bring awareness to your toes and your fingers. Bring awareness to your breath. Feel the lightness in the body. Put your affirmations, your symbols. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I thank you, I love you. With divine gratitude, bring movement back into your body. Take a nice, long, deep breath. Bring awareness to where you are. Become conscious of your surroundings. And whenever you are ready, you may gently join your palms together and rub your hands together. Generate heat. Place it over your eyes and with a beautiful smile, open your eyes. Welcome back, everybody.
How's everyone doing? It was an amazing session. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Anjana Ji. Thank you so much thank for you. being here. Thank you. <coughs> oh, thank mm -hmm. you so much. I appreciate that you enjoyed it. Yes, very good. much. Okay, good. Thank you very I much. I didn't want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to come back. You know, when we do that, uh, yeah, it happens with uh, that particular type of meditation. We tend to go away into the Akashic records, right? So right. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Um, oh, good. Thank you, Tokarji. Thank you so much. <laughs> so challenging. Thank you. Thank you, Bhavniji. Yeah. Okay. So.